Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss what are abstract classes and what are concrete classes. So, what is the uh, when to use one and when to what are the pros and cons with the abstract and uh, concrete classes. So, in object-oriented programming, both abstract classes and concrete classes are used to represent classes, but they serve different purpose and have distinct uh, characteristic. So, first start with abstract. Uh, sorry start with abstract so abstract uh, uh, characteristics are it uh, mm, uh, uh, which cannot be in instantiated so which cannot be uh, cannot be instantiated uh, and it can have but it is designed to be subclassed by other classes so basically abstract class is not for the initialization it is designed to be subclassed by other classes uh, it, it defines abstract uh, abstract methods that means uh, which are declared but not implemented you can declare it but uh, we are not supposed to implement in the abstract class and it will it can have concrete methods also uh, which can be uh, declared and implemented uh, abstract methods are intended to be overridden by the subclasses these are only for the these are intended to be overridden by the subclasses so we in the abstract class we we declare those methods uh, which we call it as abstract methods so that uh, uh, so that the subclasses will understand okay this is something that uh, we need to uh, implement okay uh, an abstract uh, class serves as a blueprint for other classes to follow and provides a common interface for a set of related classes uh, it works as a it works as a blueprint so i think enough theory uh, concrete classes is pretty simple we will discuss enough theory first we will uh, write uh, try to write an abstract class for bridge let me take let me take an i there is a chart uh, it could be an audio chart video chart or text chart for example let me write uh, for example i have text chart and i'll be having uh, some video video chart let's say okay so i want this to be my abstract class uh, so and these should be my concrete classes why because uh, on the other hand a concrete class is a class that can be instantiated and use it directly uh, use it directly so this is my abstract class so inheritance and i'm applying but my base class is an abstract class it can define both abstract and concrete methods and all of its methods have implementations concrete class are used to represent specific objects or concepts in a system okay so let's see as it is an abstract class uh, initialization should not work so what we need to do is we need to provide a fatal error saying abstract class cannot be instantiated okay so and uh, let me write a true function one is uh, send message send message of course if, as it is a chat it will be having uh, send message and uh, text chat and video chat uh, will be having uh, uh, sorry before that i think we need to encode the message correct so so these are uh, abstract methods i want to abstract methods i want to be implemented by the subclasses and it can have some concrete methods also so uh, uh, so a concrete method with the which implementation just like uh, um, print print message let's right? so, say uh, for example it will receive a for example it will receive a message uh, so we write print chat print message okay we will print the uh, message for example this is a concrete method uh, this now unfortunately we don't have something called abstract keyword in a swift programming language uh, like a final keyword or something on using which we cannot uh, subclass it but the, the purpose of abstract class is uh, is to is, is for the you just to give a blueprint so that the child classes can implement all those methods correct so basically instantiation is not possible and these are abstract methods uh, uh, whose implementation also we should not be doing it so if anyone tries 
if anyone tries to access the super class this abstract class abstract methods so basically these are abstract abstract methods so this is a concrete method okay <coughs> Sorry, if anyone tries to initialize it, you will get a fatal error. If anyone tries to encode or send messages when they try to call these abstract methods on a on this chart class, you will get a fatal error. That that means a runtime error. But uh, you can call the concrete method. As these are having uh, so as text chart and video chart are uh, uh, so found encode, it can have it and uh, it can have uh, and and it can have its own functionality. So encode text chart okay and uh, func send message uh, print I would say send I would say text chart send message okay I'm overriding this and concrete method I'm not doing it but why because I want to use the base class one so only abstract methods I'm doing it so in the in the, in the same way in the video chart uh, I would do the same okay both encode and uh, decode uh, obviously instead of text chart is this is a video chart video chart so so everything is fine so we're able to write an abstract class in swift programming language uh, initialization we restricted abstract methods calling we restricted using correct so now concrete method we restricted now uh, let's try to uh, in initialize uh, an abstract method uh, abstract class so let's see what happens when you run it what happens it should give you a fatal error saying uh, sorry you cannot uh, initialize an abstract uh, class correct so let's see what happens if you uh, initialize an uh, abstract class So correct it is giving abstract class cannot be instantiated so we restricted it which is good now uh, in now uh, instead of this of course i can create a text text chart okay i can create a text chart and i can call and i can call text chart dot encode which will call this method and uh, text chart dot send send message which will call this method send message now let me create a video chart these are all concrete classes why because uh, they're using the abstract class but these are having concrete implementation of the abstract methods and these can have concrete uh, methods as well now video chat instance we created now in the same way we can call video chat dot uh, encode okay now here the problem is uh, for example uh, by mistake uh, if I if I don't implement if I don't implement one of the abstract methods of a uh, concrete class so what happens if I if I try to call uh, WeChat dot send message it will not give me any compile er error if I run it will not give me any compile error okay so let me show that to you whether it gives any compile error or not abstract sorry let me try it again oh sorry this initialization also we need to override why because uh, the initialization we restricted so what we need to do is text chat in it so override and we don't call super dot initialization why because we are not supposed to so it is video chat initialization sorry that is the reason you are still getting abstract class why because by default it is touching the base class so i overrated the initialization also now when i try i should not be getting any errors just a second
okay seems there is no way around uh, i think we can't do this uh, otherwise the in swift language uh, by default uh, the base the child classes will call the super class initialization method though we uh, though we override it okay so that's fine and uh, uh, so we have text chat in it encode text chat send message message all the messages we have so for example if we uh, don't implement anything for example if it is vchat dot send message so uh, at compile time it doesn't know whether uh, this uh, video chat class has implemented send message or not so at runtime what happens as this child class is not having the send message it it looks up in the uh, uh, base class and send message so it gives the runtime fatal error which is very dangerous see when i run it it gives a runtime runtime fatal error saying boss this is not uh, correct so that is that is the uh, disadvantage of uh, this abstract classes when you try to write some abstract methods in swift language why because there is no abstract support the technically abstract classes uh, uh, classes uh, classes we cannot write in swift programming language though we try to give the fatal errors this is the problem that comes okay so to so to deal with it so this and all a very big uh, uh, mess uh, to deal to deal with this so what we have how can we do this how can we do this is let me remove all the piece of code in, that is the reason Swift had provided us uh, protocols. Now you do whatever you want. Uh, for example, function message, function encode. Correct. So and uh, this is like your abstract. I'm sorry this is now like your abstract or you call it as a blueprint or you call it anything but this is how we can do it in the swift language now again let's say uh, text chat which, which should confirm to the protocol and uh, as this is protocol if you don't add the steps now it, uh, it it will tell you to add the steps so here we'll write the same stuff And here also we will write the same stuff text chat encode okay and uh, let's say for example I have the same piece of code I copy paste I have a video chat I have a video chat now there is no now uh, there is no chance of getting rid of uh, any method that means I cannot go and uh, comment this uh, encode process for example let's say if I do that it will give me a compiler error saying boss uh, <laughs> video chat is not confirming to the protocol why because one of the methods it is not implementing correct type video chat does not confirm to the protocol so it compiles time itself we are safe and if you don't want to this process for example if you want to go ahead with a uh, at, at runtime you, you don't need to create uh, you don't need to create an instance of uh, 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 video chat and when you call it uh, when you call the encode process at runtime it will not give any error okay value of type video chat has no member so it compiled if, if it is pro uh, protocol oriented approach if it is pop at compile time itself you will be safe but whereas using the classes at runtime uh, we will be having the fatal errors so that's how we can implement the abstract classes in uh, in a swift programming language and con concrete classes are nothing but uh, uh, which uh, takes help from the blueprint of a concrete uh, abstract class and uh, execute everything so instead of going with the classes we use the protocol oriented approach for example this encode process you don't want it to be for example for the video chat i don't want it to be i i, I just want it to be common then what i can do i can go ahead and uh, write an extension for at the chat and uh, I will write the default uh, encode process uh, default encode process which is uh, if it is not there if it is not there I will write uh, default AES encryption for example for, for uh, the default encryption is AES encryption let's say for example this encode text chat encode is let's say some other encryption some some other encryption okay so when I uh, when I do text 
chart dot uh, in when I do text chart dot encode uh, I, I will get uh, video chart of course as it is not implemented the encode it goes to the protocol extension and gives the ES encryption uh, and as uh, text chart is having its own encryption uh, it gives that particular encryption so that is how the common piece of functionality or default uh, default functionality that means default that means this is like a concrete method correct this is like a concrete method which is having this is a complete concrete method why because it is having implementation correct this is like an app th this is abstract why because uh, these are not having any implementation implementations these are just the blueprint okay so that is basically the difference what is abstract at very high level and uh, of course it cannot be instantiated but unfortunately uh, uh, unfortunately my mistake i tried but uh, we couldn't instantiate it correct why because child class if, if there is a concrete class uh, the it is uh, in the initialization of uh, a concrete class abstract class initialization me method is getting called and it is giving the ES en encryption so I cannot uh, stop the initialization of abstract class in Swift so abstract class and concrete uh, cannot be achieved in Swift and it's not safe also so what is the type uh, mm, what is the alternate or uh, 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 alternate method of using the abstract is using the protocol oriented approach writing the abstract methods and if there are any concrete methods you want to write write, write, write them in an extension and use it so that it, if, if something happens at compile time itself it gives the errors instead of you getting worried about the runtime errors correct so hope this concept and this video is helpful thank you